was this great tribulation, at the end of it, Israel, the, the remnant, one-third of the remnant, one-third of those that are living during the time of the tribulation, not a third of all Israel that's ever lived, but only a third that enter into the great tribulation will survive. And those are those who are going to believe that the Messiah is coming. Is that Jews and non-Jews? No, that's Jews. And following that, they are going to be the saved. And then ushers in the millennial. As a matter of fact, only, only the saved people will be left. The, tribul the great tribulation period will wipe out all people except for the third that's going to be, because the Gentiles are going to be killed. And so only a third that's left are going to enter into the millennial. And that's the blessing that they were looking for. The resurrection, as I said, is so at the end of time there is one resurrection of the just and unjust known as the general resurrection as Bill said earlier a view held by amillennialists and postmillennialists number two there are two distinct resurrections the resurrection of the saved and a resurrection of the unsaved the first resurrection takes place before the millennial and the second of the unsaved takes place after the millennial. And this is viewed as held by the premillennialists. In other words, the, 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 uh, there's going to be a resurrection of the saved prior to the millennial and then the lost people are still not, they're not going to be resurrected from their grave. They're still going to be in, the, they're still going to have their spiritual bodies because God's not going to raise them up and send them through the millennial all over again because it's not for their blessings to be there, which I thought was interesting. But of course, there is the premillennial heading, and there are three views when the rapture occurs. There is the pre-tribulation, there is the mid-tribulation, and there's the post-tribulation. Depending on who you talk to, pre-tribulation, the first resur resurrection, takes place in two phases. The first phase is when, is when the church is raptured before the tribulation, and the second phase when the saints killed during the tribulation are resurrected to rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. 1 Thessalonians 4.13 in addition, many commentaries view the Old Testament. First, first Corinthians. First Thessalonians 4.13. Revelation 24. In addition, many commentators view the Old Testament saints, such as Daniel, will be part of the second phase of the first resurrection. When the Jews, when the when the Jewish saints killed in the tribulation are resurrected following the return of the Messiah. So then there are many who are going to be killed during, there could be many Christians killed during the tribulation period. At the end of the tribulation period, though they'll be buried or dead, they're going to be raised again. Wouldn't it be interesting to die one day and raise the next day? In other words, if you died on the last day of the tribulation, when Christ comes and that a period of time elapses, then those who have died, will be raised and will reign with Christ for a thousand years. Mid-tribulation means the resurrection occurs at the middle of the tribulation period, followed by second resurrection at the end of the tribulation. And then there's post-trib. Uh, but we, I, we, we believe in the... I'm a pre-trib. Pre not a... I'm a pre-trib, not a mid-trib or post-trib. Why many... You notice it says many will be many. Well, that's because not all will die. Some will be alive. Some will be alive when Christ comes back. So 
they they they're not dead. They will be they'll be alive. Yeah, well, no, yeah, but we yeah, but that's true too. That's correct because we some of us may not die before the resurrection. I mean, before it takes place. That's just like you know the meat and the resurrection are. There'll be many Christians that will not have be dead, and the, the dead will rise first. But those of us that are alive yeah, at the rapture, are, yeah, right, are going to be caught up with them. Yes. And, and the race that they're raised first because they got further to come. They're six feet under. <laughs> you know, I, I, fir I firmly believe, too, as, as you do, that the, the tribulation period, I don't believe any of the saints will ever go through this. Any of the Christians. Now, well, there'll be people now, that will be saved during the tribulation. That will go through it, yes. Yeah, that will go through right. it. Right. But now, that, this is why the scriptures in Matthew says, they that are saved must endure to the end. Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit's not here to help them. Right. It's true. Those who have died, whether believers or unbelievers, will be raised. Some to everlasting life. Here we see a distinction between two groups of people. Two groups of people. Can the, the wicked and the wise. The wicked. They're both groups referred to earlier will be the resurrection with different results. There's going to be a resurrection of the lost and the saved. It may be at two different times, one before, one before the millennial and one after the millennial. The lost will be raised after the millennial. The Christians will be raised before the millennial and go into the millennial. But lost people will not be raised and go into the millennial. They won't be raised until the end of the millennium. Obvious for obvious reasons. The wise will have everlasting life serving the kingdom of the Messiah. The resurrection was even mentioned several times in the Old Testament. You can write down these verses. Job 19, Job 19, 25 through verse 27. And Isaiah 26, 19. The distinction between the two phases are in group resurrected is not made till later. John in John 5, Jesus reinforces the dual nature of the resurrection for the just and the unjust. Verse 28 says, John 5, 28 says, 